Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. Small earthquakes were detected under Mount Rainier. Major earthquake off the coast of Alaska. That Earth awakens, Yellowstone, Mount Rainier, and Alaska tremble under nature's force in a powerful demonstration of Earth's relentless dynamism. The past weeks have witnessed a cascade of seismic and geothermal events stretching from the forests. Of Yellowstone to the glaciated heights of Mount Rainier and far north to the trembling shores of Alaska. These events are reminders of the hidden forces deep beneath our feet constantly shifting, reshaping, and reminding humanity of its place upon a living planet. Yellowstone rumbles, with earthquake swarms and steamboat geysers roar. At Yellowstone National Park, the USGS, has detected hundreds of earthquake swarms over recent days, tiny quakes rattling beneath the steaming basins, mud pots, and towering geysers. These earthquake swarms, reaching up to hundreds per day in frequency, have clustered mostly near the Norris Geyser Basin, home to the world-famous Steamboat Geyser. Amid these tremors, Steamboat Geyser erupted again, launching boiling water, and steam nearly 300 feet into. It's a summer sky in what has become its second major eruption of 2025. The eruption sent dense columns of mist over the pine forests, coating nearby boardwalks with mineral-rich spray and astonishing visitors who gathered to witness Earth's fury in real time. Seismologists note that while Steamboat has erupted frequently since 2018, its irregular but powerful bursts remain among Yellowstone's most dramatic spectacles, each event echoing deep geothermal processes beneath the surface. These earthquake swarms, while unsettling, are part of Yellowstone's normal tectonic rhythm. They are caused by the shifting of small faults and hydrothermal fluid movements rather than signs of magma rising towards the surface. Scientists stress that despite these hundreds of quakes and geyser eruptions, no indications of an impending volcanic eruption have been detected. Yet each tremor serves as a subtle reminder that Yellowstone rests upon one of the world's largest active volcanic systems, a sleeping giant whose breath can still be felt through its trembling ground and scalding geysers. Mount Rainier's Deep Tremors, largest earthquake swarm on record. Meanwhile, over 1,000 miles to the west, the Cascades' towering sentinel, Mount Rainier, has experienced its own surge in seismic activity. Starting on July 8, monitoring stations detected hundreds of tiny earthquakes beneath the glacier-capped peak. By July 16, the total number exceeded 700 quakes, marking it as the largest earthquake swarm ever recorded under Mount Rainier in instrumented history. These quakes, peaking at a magnitude of 2.4, remained too small to be felt by communities surrounding the volcano, but scientists quickly analyzed the pattern. Swarm was concentrated deep below the edifice, driven by shifting stresses and the movement of underground fluids. The USGS confirmed that these were not signals of magma rising, but rather normal tectonic adjustments and fluid migration within existing fault systems. Nonetheless, Mount Rainier remains one of the most dangerous volcanoes in North America, with its slopes covered by massive glaciers that, in an eruption, could generate devastating lahars capable of reaching towns and cities far below. 
Though this week's earthquake swarm did not trigger any alert level changes, it underscored the importance of continuous monitoring. The earth whispers before it roars, and every tremor is a syllable in the long conversation between geology and humanity. Alaska shaken, a massive 7.3. Magnitude earthquake strikes. Farther north, along the seismically restless Alaska Peninsula, Earth's raw force manifested in a different way. On July 16, 2025, at approximately 12.37 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time, a powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck offshore, about 55 miles south of Sandpoint. The quake felt widely across coastal communities, rattled homes, swayed streetlights, and triggered an immediate tsunami warning that stretched along nearly 700 miles of Alaska's southern coastline. Sirens blared in small fishing towns as residents scrambled to higher ground, gathering essentials and assisting neighbors' eyes. Fixed on the horizon for any sign of approaching waves, In Sandpoint, King Cove, Kodiak, and Unalaska, evacuation routes filled with cars and emergency responders. The U.S. National Tsunami Warning Center detected only small tsunami waves, measuring 3 to 6 inches. But out of caution, advisories remained in place until thorough ocean data confirmed no further threat. by 2.45 p.m. The tsunami warning was officially canceled. Fortunately, there were no reports of injuries or major damage, despite the powerful tremor's intensity. However, this earthquake marked the fifth magnitude 7 or stronger quake in the region since 2020. Highlighting the heightened seismic activity. Along the Aleutian subduction zone, where the Pacific Plate, dives beneath North America. Earth's message, a reminder of its unceasing energy. This week's chain of events, Yellowstone's trembling geyser basins, Rainier's record breaking, it's warm, and Alaska's massive quake reveal Earth's continuous internal adjustments 